Good morning, it's Tuesday, January 5th, and this is the Herald Review's podcast, The Daily Chirp. We're excited to bring you a closer look at one of our top stories, events in the community, local history, sports, and more. Today, the new year brings new hope for local two-year-old Eden Wright, who spent Christmas recovering from a bone marrow transplant. But first, a quick message from our sponsor. Hi everyone, I'm Sean Lawley from the Lolly Automotive Group, and we've stocked up on inventory at all of our dealerships. If you've been thinking about a new car, we've got the deal for you on a new Buick, GMC, Chevrolet, Ford, Kia, Hyundai, Honda, Nissan, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. You don't have to go to Tucson or Phoenix to buy a new vehicle. We're your hometown dealer since 1995. We'll beat the big city dealers in price, and our customer service is small town dealer friendly. Come into any one of the Lolly dealerships today, or shop lollycars.com and see why nobody beats a Lolly deal. Nobody. Before we begin, some local history. In the 1970s, the Art in the Park Festival was established by a committee of army wives with proceeds benefiting the Huachuca Arts Association and college scholarships. Unfortunately, the event was canceled this year due to COVID-19. Today's history is brought to you by Benson Hospital. We are doing more than treating illnesses in Benson. We are building a healthier community. We know that there is childhood food insecurity in our community. That is why we collaborated with our community to create food pantries at our local schools. For more information, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Benson Hospital. Also, don't forget, Joe To Go still has Teacher Appreciation Day on the first Wednesday of the month. Just show your teacher ID for a free coffee. Now our feature story. While most of us opened presents with our families on Christmas Day, Eden Wright wasn't feeling up to it. The two-year-old spent the holiday at Banner University Medical Center in Tucson with his mother, Sequana Wright, recovering from a bone marrow transplant. A week after the transplant, Eden became very sick, and according to Sequana, it's the sickest he's been since his diagnosis. But in the new year, Sequana has faith the best is yet to come for her son, and that he'll soon return to activities he loves, like jumping on his trampoline. It was August 22nd when Eden was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, just two months before his second birthday. Sequana first had an inkling something was wrong when she noticed Eden was bruising easily. She decided to have his blood tested. Since his diagnosis, Eden has been in and out of the hospital. He's gone through two rounds of chemotherapy. Sequana said that it's been a roller coaster ride. The 36-year-old single mom left her job in order to be with her child in the hospital and attend the appointments. And her family and the community are rallying behind her and Eden in an effort to keep her afloat. Sequana said she has also received support from her parents who have gone through something similar. Stacy Louch's grandson had leukemia. She donated the first Team Eden bracelets, which were given to individuals who donated to Eden's cause. The community has created a GoFundMe page for donations to help Sequana with expenses. Marcelo Carrillo, owner of 143 Street Tacos, has also joined the effort to help the longtime customers that he now considers friends. Since the beginning of December, the restaurant has been collecting donations. Carrillo said all tips this month have been donated to her. Carrillo explained that we are rooting for him so hard. If you'd like to donate too, you can search for Eden Wright on GoFundMe. Want to stay up to date on what's going on? Join Neighbor, your trusted neighborhood community. Neighbor is a free online forum you can trust to connect with your community, focus on facts, and make a difference. Join the conversation. Visit nabur.myheraldreview.com. Now, we'd like to take a moment to recognize St. David Jr. Talon Haney, brought to you by Apex Network Physical Therapy. Providing physical therapy to the community, Apex Network offers a wide range of services, including manual therapy, industrial rehab, dry needling, golf rehab, and more. To learn more, go to apexnetworkpt.com. This year's 2020-2021 varsity football season was an award-winning one for St. David Jr. Talon Haney. When the season ended and the 1A South football coaches gathered to nominate athletes for their regional awards, Haney had not only made an impact with his individual statistics, but also in the eyes of the other regional coaches. By a vote of the 1A South coaches, Haney was chosen to be the region's first team offensively as a running back and defensively as a linebacker, and was named the region's football player of the year. His biggest fans? His parents, Bradley and Connie Haney. They know how much time and energy he puts into being the best that he can be. Congratulations, Talon. Before we go, we'd like to take a moment to remember the life of Dr. Kelly R. Smith of Sierra Vista. 
Kelly was born in Mesa and was raised in Buckeye with his three siblings. He was a fantastic athlete growing up, excelling as an all-state basketball player for the Buckeye Hawks. He graduated in the class of 1969 with a group of friends that he stayed close with for over 50 years. After Kelly graduated, his family moved to Pima, where he would soon meet and marry the love of his life, Pamela. They moved to California, where Kelly went to school majoring in dairy management. Then they moved back to Pima, where he began working at the Smith Lunt Dairy and a creamery. He also built and owned the 8th Street Athletic Club in Thatcher. After an industrial accident, a chiropractor helped Kelly recover, and he found his calling. Kelly moved his family to Houston to attend Texas Chiropractic College. He graduated in 1988 and found a practice to join in Sierra Vista. He later started Smith Chiropractic. He practiced for 30 years before retiring and inspired two of his sons to also become chiropractors, who continue to run Smith Chiropractic today. Kelly is survived by his wife, his children, his many grandchildren, and his siblings. Kelly loved playing golf and riding his Harley. He was a giving person and loved helping people any chance that he got. Thank you for taking a moment today to remember and celebrate his life. Thanks for tuning in to the Herald Review podcast today. Join us again on Thursday. And remember, the Herald Review is here for you with local news you can trust. For more information on any of the stories you heard about today, visit us at myheraldreview.com. Right now, you can become a member starting at just $1.99 per week.